Welcome to another episode of Frequently Asked Questions in Commercial Roofing. My name is Jim. This is James. Hello. So James, what's our question today? So today's question is a good one. It's what is the difference between a metal roof panel and a metal deck? They seem so similar. That is a good question. There's a few things we need to think about. We need to think about metal thickness. Mm -hmm. We need to think about the strength of the metal. And we need to think about geometry. The geometry of these different products makes a big difference in this discussion. Sounds like we're starting to get a little complex here. Well, we could, but to simplify it, we're going to go to Erica in our R&D lab. She's a doctor of mechanical engineering. She's going to illustrate this in a simple fashion for us. Hello, Erica. I'm hoping you can help us differentiate between a metal roof panel and a metal deck today. Sure, of course. Even though they may both be steel, the strength of the steel is typically different with the metal roof deck being stronger. But that's really hard to tell just by looking at it. Um, typically, a metal deck is also a thicker gauge, uh, which makes it stronger too. So the, the metal strength and the thickness of it uh, are both important, but you can't quite tell that without testing or, or measuring it. Okay. However, a more noticeable difference between the metal deck and the metal roof panel is actually how the metal is formed or shaped. Okay, so excellent information. So metal strength itself matters. The thickness of the metal really matters. And then the shape really matters. That's right. And as you can see here, a metal roof panel is actually quite flexible. Um, pass it to you. While a metal roof deck is um, considerably more rigid. And this rigidity is primarily due to these flutes. Um, th these flutes, which are closely spaced together, actually add a lot of strength and stiffness. And these flutes also help prevent the metal deck from deflecting. Um, another important point is that the strength of the metal, as well as the thickness of the metal in the deck, allow it to serve as a really great substrate for fasteners. It's a lot more difficult to pull a, a fastener out of a metal deck as opposed to a metal roof panel. Okay, so again, the metal strength itself, the metal thickness matters, as does the differences in shape. It really makes a difference between these two products. Yeah, that's right. And a metal deck is actually engineered to have the structural capacity necessary for attaching an entire roof assembly. Um, it's designed to resist wind loads as well as the weight of equipment on the roof. Um, in contrast, the metal roof panel is designed to act as a weather barrier, but it lacks that structural capacity of the metal roof deck. You can see the difference. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much. You've helped illustrate the difference between these two products. Yeah, my pleasure. So you can see the capacity of a metal deck comes from the metal strength, the metal thickness, and again, the geometry. Those flutes really add a lot to the structural capacity of a metal deck. Well, that's a good thing because metal decks are the most common deck type in the United States. Right. And we do mechanically attached systems into it all the time. Absolutely. And in the case of a retrofit system, which is a single ply installed over an existing metal panel roof, we need to attach into the substructure. Like the purlins, for example. The purlins, the C's and the Z's. If we attach into the purlins, we get appropriate wind uplift resistance. If we attach into the metal panels, we don't get adequate uplift resistance, and that's a concern. Mm. So it's important to check with your manufacturer for fastening methods and your fastening patterns. Gotcha. Well, Thank you for helping us get an answer to that question. I hear it all the time. And tune in next time for more frequently asked questions in commercial roofing.